the hour is nine, my brothers, coming at you with an ever Genesee video because this week has been crazy in gaming, not just gaming, but in real life situation with the UFOs. We're gonna get right into the story. Drop a thumbs up if you love your mama because coming in at our number 11 spot, our first story is about the KGP. There is no indication of aliens or ET activity with these recent takedowns. Roll it. I just wanted to make sure we address this from the White House. I know there have been questions and, and concerns about this, but there is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Again, there is no indication of aliens or terrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. Wanted to make sure that the American people knew that, all of you knew that, uh, and it was important for us to say that from here because we've been hearing a lot about it. Um, I, I, I'm not... Would you tell us? I, I'm just, you know, I loved E.T., the movie, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, what a bunch of bull squash, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of people are not buying this situation because they came on this week. They have took down three different UFOs. And right now we're hearing that even China got a UFO, but we're talking about China. China number one, China number one, mother Chinese. Uh We're talking about China, so the information is kind of scarce. We're not sure what's real and what's not. So rumors are saying that even China got a UFO around that they shot down. However, the US general does not eliminate aliens as UFOs mount. He says that I haven't ruled out anything uh, so far and a lot of people are definitely suspect one guy wrote and says that oh shiza that means that the opposite is true hopefully they are here to correct our path because nobody's really buying this situation because let's be real that's what uh, the american government does right like something happens uh, hey, it was the weather balloons right it was the it was the weather balloons and surely project blue beam is on the rise i should be having a dedicated video on that one on the second channel okay on scary x it's some pretty dark video only watch that video Video if you got a bigger stomach okay because uh, it's not for everybody guys Bruh. and seriously man this seems like the map for the aliens on earth it always is the u.s china and russia everybody want to live in peace but these three countries i mean god damn but also on this one coming in at our number 10 i really cannot say certain words but i just want to send my prayers out to people that are affected with the ohio river situation the situation here is that there were some chemicals i don't want to say this word together because we're talking youtube guys there are certain things I cannot say, but I surely can give my prayers and I can surely send my best wishes and that's exactly what I wanted to do. They cannot stop me from sending my prayers to you, okay? The river that has been affected used to be and is public drinking water source to over 5 million people. You obviously were not counting in the animals. Uh, the, the animals are affected and there's a lot of news coming around. And this week has been crazy, man. Also, check this out. So, Aiden Ross says he was silenced by Twitch and they threatened to ban him indefinitely. Roll it. Um, I just want to say um, I was silenced and I'm going to tell you what I was silenced by and what happened. So, um, I had a week suspension on Twitch and then when I got unsuspended on Twitch, I stream maybe two or three times after that, and then once I uh, once I was streaming and, and, and doing what I normally do, is, you know, I, I say some real shit sometimes. Um, I basically got a call. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say specifically who it was, but you know who you are, and you and you basically said, hey man, if you keep doing controversial stuff and you keep saying certain things and you keep basically you know promoting um, certain things on your stream, we're gonna have to take you down uh, indefinitely. <laughs> stuff in the works, um, but I'm just here to let you guys know I don't really care. Honestly, at this point, oh, I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to do what I want to do, and I'm going to believe what I want to believe. You know, and that's the freedom of being a uh, human being. And everybody gather around him. Okay, the situation here is that Aiden Ross used to have, like, hub actors during his stream, but that was apparently fine by Twitch. But the second he moved on to pushing the the the, the, the toxic masculinity, let's just say, because that's what they want to promote. Guys, there's no toxic masculinity, okay? We all love women, and uh, the women love us, okay? That's apparently what the situation. They always want to push the agenda of strong, independent, strong, 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 and empowering. But break it, X Twitch stream. Aiden Ross signs a reportedly two-year $150 million deal to stream exclusively on Kick. Yo, can a brother get like two pennies, y'all? Stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this. I'm going to Kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports, watching movies, prank phone calls, doing unlimited... We can literally watch... I can jerk off of the... No, no, I'm still celibate. What? But if I wanted to, we can do whatever the f we want. There is no terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you want in my chat. Nobody can get f in. If you, listen, if you love people and I don't, no, no, f that. 
If you if you believe some shit and you want to type it, say what the fuck you. Want. But anyways, Microsoft admits Game Pass cannibalizes. Dialogue kid, dialogue. This you kidding me, Phil Spencer? Because Phil Spencer previously came on. He says that Game Pass leads to more game sales. I Bro, Microsoft Bruh. VP Gaming says service has been very healthy for our games and today we're discovering that it cannibalizes sales because apparently the situation there is that embedded within the 277 pages document was a short paragraph revealing that Microsoft had submitted an internal analysis to the government body that showed and I quote a redacted percentage decline in base game sales 12 months following their addition on game and a lot of the Xbox went into coma the Sony pony started doing helicopters with their release they drop in DDT's left and right they're trying to stop a brother down and everybody's going crazy right now and this has started the WW4 conflict with the Sony ponies and the Xbox everybody's wilding because previously Everybody was saying that uh, Jim lying, crying, riot, and right now everybody's turning to the opposite side and they're saying that you're Phil lying, crying, Spencer. The situation is mad, ladies and gentlemen, because he did say late 2018 that Game Pass leads to more game sales, and they privately said, because this is something they didn't want out, surely PlayStation has already revealed the fact that PlayStation 6 is gonna be happening after 2027. They revealed a lot of other stuff, all because of Call of Duty! Because Xbox, they try to acquire Activision, Sony don't want them to have Call of Duty, everybody's after that Call of Duty, and the Call of Duty fan base is saying that Call of Duty is Shiza. We don't want to play that Shiza, but Xbox is still persistent. They're still getting their schlongs involved, and Sony is getting their schlongs involved. Everybody just want to have Call of Duty, and they revealed this news. They did, in fact, they didn't even wanted this news to be out, but apparently some people out there, I, I cannot even compute this. Someone really went ahead and read 277 pages. Hey, man, as uh, Kimberly Sweet Brown once said, ain't nobody got time for that, but that mofo, whoever that person was, was, they definitely had time to read this one and they read the part that a redacted percentage so Microsoft still has not revealed what's the percentage decline for base game sales it could be 20% it could be 10 it could be 50 it could be 80 and it's understandable why they want to keep this percentage under wraps because once this information comes out it's gonna be chaos everywhere okay it already is chaos like you're gonna see a lot of youtubers cover this news guys it is crazy and some people are really shocked they're looking like this right now but I guess you already know this does doesn't really hit us hard like we all know like they're always lying I'm talking like Microsoft I'm talking Sony like these big companies guys we're talking about billion dollar companies we're talking about trillion dollar companies they know what they're doing but I'll still say game pass is really good for the consumer okay you want to buy a hundred games $70 each or do you want to get all of those brand new games for $10 a month I will go with $10 a month it's a good deal for the consumers but it might not be for the game devs but Microsoft has demanded performance reviews of PlayStation senior leadership Jim line crying Ryan <laughs> shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation we got a strong and empowering woman Bruh. and Sony is calling that obvious harassment I mean damn son this is exactly why I have stopped praying for both of these companies y'all this is exactly why <laughs> But however, first signs of Hogwarts Legacy Monster Sales update. Oh wow, oh wow. Apparently in the UK fiscal charts says that the game so far is 80% bigger than Elden Ring. We do not have enough data for the digital sales, but just looking at this situation, I can guarantee that the digital sales will be even higher than this. Everybody shout out to the Wokies because uh, the, the Wokies really tried to cancel this game but they added more to the game and the game is selling 80% bigger than Elden Ring and we all know Elden Ring did like crazy numbers too. Elden Ring came close, if not it beat Call of Duty Van Garbage in one month or maybe in the entire year. Uh, I, I could be wrong because I'm a man, I, if you're a man you're always wrong, right? Like we men were always wrong. But shout out to the Wokies man, because of them this game sold like crazy. They wanted this game to fail but they flop and they fall hard on their face. Uh, we love to see it folks. We also ended up getting uh, season Two trailer for Call of Duty Van Garbage. Oh my bad. Uh, for Modern Warfare 2, Modern Garbage Warfare 2 is the new name. That's what the the kids say nowadays. Now I'm saying, but we ended up getting this trailer, and the trailer is really good. I mean, the Warzone community is definitely eating good. That's how it seems like from the viewpoint of a multiplayer fan. But ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty is doing the fans absolutely dirty. Two remaster maps, two remaster maps that we've seen years and years ago. In fact, we're getting Dome back, which is one of my favorite map. I guess a lot of people want to see that back. 
but can a brother perhaps get at least one new map? At least one new map? We're talking about a billion dollar company here, guys. They cannot even do that. In fact, it's pretty good. And this trailer, I gotta say, man, the trailer is just good. There is nothing wrong with the trailer. They got gun game. They're, they got a lot of good stuff coming in. But all of this stuff used to be in the games at launch uh, in previous years. You do not believe me? I mean, just go back, look back, okay? There's a reason why everybody's mad. But if Modern Warfare 2 is your first Call of Duty, then there is a lot of content. You might have never played Infected. You might have never played Gun Game. We used to have that day one in the games at launch. But now they're just drip feeding the content that was supposed to be day one. It's a good trailer, but we all know all of their marketing budget goes into making trailers and not the game, okay? The games never look this good, okay? And even the trailer is not that great. Look. <laughs> Also, speaking of Rockstar games, it doesn't look like that Rockstar will be posting their annual January February community news bar. This is speculation by the toxic gamers. They always want to label us as toxic gamers, guys. But gamers getting absolutely done dirty. It makes sense because 2022 was a pretty bad year for Rockstar games because they ended Red Dead Redemption Online. GTA 6 was leaked out. They also announced some small GTA Online updates and that was about it. Nothing for them to say and they basically just came out and they said that we like to thank our entire community for another record-breaking holiday season. In other words, they're trying to say thank you for buying our shark cards, thank you for raising our stock value, thank you for giving us money for no damn reason, thank you for giving us your money for us to do barely nothing for y'all in return, okay? That's essentially the translation of uh, their thank you out there. Everybody's waiting for GTA 6 here, guys. Like, damn it, man. We never get in this game, bruh. But we got some good news. Apparently, a lot of people are really happy with the first look at Michael Keaton as Batman in the flesh and a lot of people are looking at this and uh, they're actually saying really good things unless uh, I'm wrong I'm not sure I'm not into the flash or uh, I didn't even know it was coming out I don't really keep up with stuff like that anymore but a lot of you do and a lot of people are really shaking and you can see like uh, homies are shaking homies are photoshopping and uh, sh <laughs> shaky like that but speaking of the biggest good news in this week for gaming okay I, I know there has been bigger stories but this is the best story this week alongside Hogwarts news of course but Dead Island 2 has gone gold and is now releasing one week earlier on April 20th. 21st. <gasps> I'm shaking! But the situation is pretty bad with the Call of Duty and Xbox situation. They're removing a lot of stuff. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left if you got a bigger stomach because we're talking about Project Bluebeam. Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing that stuff and I will see you right there.